Hi Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what the messages are for you for May. What is going on? Dub. So peace, serenity. You also have the card of anchor, stability. Some of you are going to find uh, you're going to have more stability in the month of May. You may find new direction or where you're going or maybe a new job or something like that, a new relationship. Or it's just going to feel more stable, more peaceful. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? It could be new love for some of you. It says new person, unknown person. It could be an ice king. It says boss, entrepreneur, detached. He's a mature man, older male, mature in age, and they're a soulmate as well. And under the deck, it says home. So some of you could be in a new relationship starting in May, something that makes you feel very peaceful, safe, stable. <clears throat> All right, maybe be living together, buying a home or something like that down the way. So let's see, what is going on for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Scorpio. Six of coins, the, the king of swords, three of coins, and you're the outcome. So there's definitely, definitely somebody here for you, Scorpio. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. Somebody's reaching out. Someone could be helping you. This person is very helpful. Uh, they could be giving you money, helping you pay your bills. Again, maybe, you know, you guys will have a home together or live together, something like that. Two of Swords and the Page of Coin, the World, Three of Wands. Look at that, beautiful energy. I feel like there's something you've been stuck in. Maybe some of you it's been a job or there's something that you have had to be, you've had to do and it's just been draining you. It could be a past relationship or a job or something like that. I'm going to see. Okay, there's going to be an opportunity coming in the month of May. Page of Cups is also under the deck. And it's going to be from this person. Now, for some reason, I kind of feel like some of you may know who this is or know this person. So they may be saying they miss you. I feel like up until this point, you feel very weighed down, stressed, or tired. You have a lot on your plate, something like that. But um, when you hear this message from this person, I think you're going to be very happy. What is this world energy? Lovers, what is this Three of Swords? Emperor, wow, King of Wands. Okay. You may have two people here. You may have an ex or a past person who may be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Or this could all be the same person. No, it looks like someone's spying on you. They see that you found love and they're going away. You have an ex that's leaving your life, Scorpio, and then you have someone new who's coming in who's going to be very stable, who's someone who looks like maybe you're destined to be with this person. It's a past life soulmate. Okay. What is this devil here? I feel like this is helping you get out of yeah, a past stuck situation. See that? What you're going towards is a relationship. What you've been stuck in is some sort of, it doesn't have to be a third party, but it's some sort of toxic, I get unhealthy situation that's been very difficult to free yourself from for whatever reason. There's like details. Okay, so I'm going to narrow it down just in a nutshell. In May, you're going to receive a message from someone. There's going to be some really good opportunity. It's either going to be straight up, it's love, because it shows this person right here, maybe it's a Gemini, or someone who's telling you about this opportunity. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like it could be through another person, but it all leads to the Ace of Wands. There's another person who is watching this who is just kind of going to go away. They're not going to be involved and they're not going to reach out. Yes, they're going to be disappointed, but they're not going to, um, I get interfered. You're going into a new relationship. They're going to be very happy in Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing here. What else is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Driftwood. So that's kind of going with the flow. So just go with the flow. Trust where the universe is taking you. So again, that's why I think in May when you get this message from someone and Again, I am getting the feeling you'll know who's talking to you. So it could be like a friend, a family member, or this person. But when you are invited to this, or you, like someone's going to give you a message, you need to go, you need to go talk to this person, you go to do something, it's going to lead to this connection, to this person that you're meant to be with. What else does Scorpio need to know? You're going to date this person. There's some sort of healing, or healing will take place. Healing, reconciliation, wearing a mask, afraid. Okay, this is the other person. I definitely see two different people. 
I definitely see someone watching you, Scorpio, who's like an ex, and I see you moving towards somebody new. So there's someone who doesn't want to see you move on. They don't want to see you date new people. But I'm seeing you're ready to date new people and get out of this past. I get toxic energy. I get toxic energy around you, Scorpio, needing to let that go. I think you already have. It's just been difficult to move forward. But I think that what the reading is saying is that you're ready. You're ready for this new person. That's going to give you a lot of stability and a lot of um, love is what I'm getting here. Okay, what else for Scorpio? Semi rising and Venus. Scorpio. So you have positive work outcome. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. And manifestation, a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. I feel like maybe you're going to be in relationship with someone coming up here and uh, you're going to end up buying a home together, as I'm seeing here. Uh, you're going to feel very secure and safe. Maybe there will be some sort of marriage down the way as well. But there's something about this connection like it's just meant to be. This person, I think, is very protective of you. I don't, I, re, I do remember your last reading it has something to do with someone waiting. And I remember, I don't know if this is the same person or if this is a different situation for Scorpio, uh, a different set of Scorpios, something like that. Can you tell us anything else about this for Scorpio? Let me go to a different deck. I think I just used that one. Scorpio. Yeah, relationship is coming in. That's going to be very secure. Ace of coin. Listen to your intuition. It's very solid. And again, they have the king of swords in this deck as well. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius keeps coming up. Does not have to be, but what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? There is an awakening going on. Someone is going undergoing a spiritual transformation balance trust i feel like things are working out for you just the way they need to be i feel like if your life has felt out of balance it's going to be easier things are going to be smoother for you you're going to be able to have more fun i would be really open to the communication from this person in may i think this is going to change your life i really do what i'm seeing here is like it is going to change your destiny where you thought you're going and if you felt like you weren't you know getting anywhere or things weren't um working out for you this is going to be the change you've been waiting for all right anything else for scorpio it's coming in it could be yes i'm seeing you guys get out of work that you don't like i feel like some of you your work life is weighing you down some of you may quit i see new love you probably you probably will not be working anymore once you're in this relationship if you don't want to or maybe you're going to be doing more of the things you love to do i do see an ex who can't let go. I see you moving. I see you moving, Scorpio. I definitely see you moving someplace. I definitely see you being in a relationship where you feel loved and appreciated. There's definitely an ex who's going to also come back around, like I keep saying. They are definitely going to shoot their shot with you, Scorpio. But I get that you do not want to have anything to do with the ex. Yeah, I think you're ready to move forward. See, in this deck, it's showing you move toward this King of Swords as well. Yep, and you're right next to them. Pull a new beginning. Yes, I think you're going to do very well. Be very happy. Wow. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You're going to be very happy in this connection, Scorpio. You're going to have a lot of freedom, a lot of fun, a lot of money. Life is going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.